Hi everybody, my name is Dee. Welcome back to the New Earth community. Now today we're going to be jumping into your energy as well as theirs to see what the message is today. Details to booking me for the free image reading programs, one-on-one -on -one services. Guys, check out my details and follow me to the channel that I did create, okay? All in the box. Now, I've started this reading three times. They are very nervous to talk. I'm out of breath <laughs> and I wasn't doing anything before, right? In the pre-shuffle, um, the Sun card and the Ace of Swords came out. So this is, this is them understanding what energy they need to get in, right? Real masculine energy to go towards their happiness because you are their happiness. They have complete clarity on that and then their strength as well is what i'm getting here they need the strength to ah, this is what it is to always show up right and your person has to show up like masculine energy check out the uh, sex mastery program on this one to understand the masculine a lot more deeper okay we have a win-win outcome is forecast Right, because this is the thing, and this is a full moon in Libra. Now we just experience a full moon in Aries, right? So you may see they just gave me the opposite because when the sun is in one season, the moon is in the opposite. So in Aries season, there's something significant going to happen in Aries season. I mean, it's the it's the new year. You know, um, it marks the new, the new year. Um, the more that you understand to create balance within your life by understanding each and every experience that you have in your life, you can either stay in a negative, if it was a negative experience, or you can stay, or you can choose to transmute it, right? By understanding your experiences, you create balance. You understand what you want and what you don't want anymore. And you understand the, the harsh truths, right? Clarity, the Ace of Swords. Of your part, the sun, the healing, thank you. Um, the strength, understanding your abundance, what you want, how you want to move in your life, how you want to be, what's going to make you happy. Because we look at outside things that are going to make us happy but it's being in a calm balanced state within us is what's really going to make us happy because it, you're creating that inner world from inside of you right it's understanding you know when you experienced abuse trauma neglect abandonment um it took you to a dark place you know once you can come out of that and understand one second. Sorry about that, guys. My little girl had hurt her toe, so she needed a band aid. Um, where was I, spirit? Once you can understand what it is to identify abuse for what it is, we don't realize that we continue to gaslight our own selves because we have experienced and been conditioned in that way. We don't realize that we abuse ourselves by uh, not following well, our, our emotions, our, in, our intuition, what we really want to be. Some of us then enter relationships that, that will keep us looking normal, you know, that ego, because we don't want to be judged we don't want to be different because we've already experienced trauma and to be different even though we are it's what we're here to do is to embrace being ourselves some of us enter into well i entered into a relate many relationships that weren't to my benefit and there were three other belief systems you know i married and thought i loved somebody through the idea of them you know other people do this with um, you know, if, 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 if 
you're attracted and your person is the same gender of yours you know you may be with somebody of the opposite sex because you you haven't come out you know you want to fit in it doesn't matter how it's done but we continue the lines of abuse we continue the lines of trauma to oneself and to others and the only way to come out of this is to have awareness empathy on the situation so for those of you that are working deep within inner work it's understanding that you're going to get through it. A win-win um, outcome is, is coming because you're creating balance within your life. The more that you can identify that you did experience trauma, abuse. Because when I, before I even started this journey, that was my normal. I didn't see life to be any different, right? So that's how I maneuvered. That's how I was. I had become... That abuser I had become um, negligent you know I, I was so distanced and so disconnected within my own self right and once you can say that with complete clarity and honesty because you want to transform and you, and you are transforming right you stand in that power you empower yourself because you become that beacon you become that voice, right? So we've all done things that we we wish we didn't, right? But it's 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 finding the love and compassion within us to to understand why we did that, to come out of that, to understand why it was done to us, but then to stop it because we make the choice. Now here with a win-win outcome you know like it's knowing what you want and you, you align with that always 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 like I'll use this one example you know I grew up with non-control right I was the last of, of four um and uh, People could say that, you know, perhaps, you know, I could just do whatever I wanted, you know. Um, but that was their interpretation, you know. Um, I was abandoned. I was, it, it was neglect, you know. Um, so when I manifested relationships within my life, I saw controlling behavior to be loving because nobody created a fuss over me nobody um i felt forgotten i felt very abandoned very rejected and that was my emotion that's how i felt you know um so when i manifested these controlling relationships i saw that as loving but it's not by all means it's not you know once you can understand the wounding that you have that you have experience because it's, it's what it is it's experiences and once you can transmute that you create that balance to understanding you know every time i manifested a controlling relationship i know that not to be loving so i don't see that as loving anymore right i take those experiences right i create that balance within myself and i start to align with no if you're going to try to control me through any circumstance right family friends uh, exes right i come away from it because simply it's not for me i've learned that that's not loving right that was my experience so the more that you can understand right your experiences you transmute you do the inner work guys check out counseling if you haven't gotten your image reading you haven't had one for a while you can get an updated one they're for free okay it's always understanding understanding doing the inner work then putting into practice the new um life strategies that are taught within the programs right that are discussed and um, you have that live one-on-one -on -one with, with myself or anybody else who you've booked within the community, right? 
to understand your strategies going ahead because you all are individuals, okay? What do we have bottom of the deck? We have expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. This is coming up in about, I don't know, in about a, just a little over than a week's time. You will see all the tower readers or all the tower readings that you see on this platform, right? Um, new beginning, new beginning. An eclipse is like the intensity of, um, of a new moon. Right, we've we've had a very intense full moon, and uh, or like two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, right, with the cycles. This is this is understanding your triggers. The more that you do the work, the more that you understand things for what they are. So then you come into an equilibrium to how you um, you show up, right, and it's for you. For the better of um, yourself like when we first started mentorship within this community you know i've just got to be i'll be very vulnerable you know it, it really um it triggered me because it triggered an aspect from inside of me that i needed to process even more so with myself you know i realized from um the time that i came away from family i came away from from everybody you know and there was some particular family members that I didn't come away from you know um and I really I needed to do inner work because I wasn't that positive mentor for them when I was um in and amongst them many many years ago you know um even my goddaughter per se you know um you know these are all people that are 20s mid 20s now you know and uh, it's about whatever triggers you right you're, you're here to do the inner work for it from within you you know the work like why would you well, like every time this is said i know that you, it, this triggers you because it triggers that aspect of not feeling good enough within you the work never ends but why would you want it because the more that you align within yourself the more that you create balance within yourself and you empower yourself right because as we are shifting into scorpio season as well i mean pluto is still in retro retrograde and pluto and retrograding Capricorn, this is something that we're not going to experience within our lifetime. The next time that Pluto um, is, is, is within this transit, it's like, I don't know, 250 years, you know. So this massive, this year is all about transformation, right? You are never going to experience more transformation, right, within this year than in any part of your life. There is a reason why you are here. There is a reason why you have been, you were guided, right? Like I was guided and everybody else in mission was guided, right? To simply align with your true essence, right? Let's jump in to this message deeper. It's coming out of the illusions, the control the unhealthy attachments, right? Okay. It's coming out of jealousy. Every time I see this, I get guided to the decks that I use. Every time I see this Empress, you, I mean, within the Spellcaster's deck, I mean, she's green. Like, shh. I mean, the Empress does signify, um, you know, Mother Earth, per se. But when I see this Empress, I don't, I don't start what I feel. I feel smothering energy. Um, all right, let's jump in. There over, you want me to do it like that? Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, it's coming out of non-trusting energies, right? Always feeling left out in the cold. Smiling like it's okay, but it's really not. Your overall energy, we have the judgment. I was going to say the wake up card, which it is, but your energy towards the connection, we have the nine of wands. How you see them, the two of swords, their overall energy, the will of fortune in reverse, their energy towards this connection, we have the ace, no, the ace of wands in reverse, how they see you, the eight of wands in reverse, mutual energy, we have the sun, what's blocking is the star, near future, we have page of wands in reverse talk to me please this is all about the inner work and understanding what twisted rooted belief systems that have you thinking this is a nightmare situation this is about freeing yourself here right and it's all about understanding for me this is like i don't know i'm not too familiar with the cycles right but that looks like a waxing moon and the waxing moon is leading into the new moon, to say, because that would be the waxing moon. Emotions are running high. What do we have underneath that, right? Step out of your comfort zone, north node. This is what it's all about. Right, what we experience within our south node, past ex past life experience, but who can explain those, right? Um, but your south node is what you experience within your within your childhood. Okay, why are you giving me Chiron? Is that see? I don't I don't know if that's in retrograde. I don't know. Um, but Chiron is. Um, the point of healing childhood wounds right for those of you that have like a natal chart you don't have to do this but this helped me understand why i experienced what i experienced because we all have our own missions you know this is about you understanding who you are the empress here showing up right you know, when we talk about the Nine of Swords energy, you know, you hear tarot readers say, you know, oh, that this person has experienced stress, this person has experienced anxiety. Why, though? It's through what was so horrendous that kept you up at night where you judged yourself is what I'm getting here, right? Where you felt trapped. You felt like you couldn't do anything more or anything less. These are the moments within your childhood that need to be um, healed, right? You need to go within in order to have that release. Because everything that you experience within your life is here to transform you. Because there's, there's, there's two divisions now, like within the collective. I don't know how else to say it. Like either you can, either you still play victim and you're abusing others still by not identifying the inner work that you need to do. And you're responsible for that, for your own, right? To release yourself from that pain. Because this is what keeps you up at night. The guilt. It's like a burning cauldron, right? You gotta release yourself from that because you didn't know any better. You gotta understand what it is to love yourself through that inner work. Because when it comes to how you are with situations and definitely with this connection, you're defensive. Right? There's the fear, there's the survival mode kicking in, right? Because you see all these red, yellows and um, orange, 
right? For me, this is all highlighting the masculine energy, the, the root, the sacral and the solar plexus, right? These are all masculine energies. You, you easily kick it into defensive mode. Um, and you got to understand why. Right, get in in and amongst counselling. Uh, understand that these are blockages. Right, this is your normal, but this is why you need to step into counselling. Because when it comes to your person, you're indecisive. You know, and it's it's like you wanna. It's like you don't feel that your person should love you. This is really deep. You feel judged. But you put yourself out in the cold and you shield yourself from that pain because there's self-shame here. Because what blocks these masculine energies is shame, is fear, is blame. And once you clear these blockages by releasing that fear, understanding why you're guarded, accepting what is because that's your third party right your past because what's blocking the connection here right is the healing work you understanding who you are and guys like who can who can explain why we do the things that we do and why we, we've because some of us there's some real horrendous things that we've experienced and we've then done ourselves but this is about having hope where there isn't this is about having empathy understanding the worlds right upstairs and 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 here right here on planet earth It's understanding that the condition of this world, this is what we've come here to do. It's understanding who you are. You're that light worker. This, this doesn't make it and warrant the things that twin flames go through, right? But again, we can either play victim to it and not do the healing work and understand that we are that beacon. We are the 4D to have that awareness on what's really going down and then transmute it to understand our happiness right now when it comes to their overall energy they feel stuck they want this new beginning and for me this is making the nine of wands in reverse they feel exhausted by not being able to hear that call from you, you know, per se. Because this is all energy, the wands is what I'm getting here, right? Because it's 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 flying through the air, like the ethers, right? So it's like it's energy. Because you're cut off, they're energe energetically cut off. Like you can't cut off. Or they corrected me, right? Like it's it's blocked. They can't hear that call. They watch you like a hawk, but they just watch you, right? They don't take action. What else do we have for this reading, please? What you're going through now, right? You are epic. Oh, right? It's understanding that. You're fucking amazing. You're so important. For everything that you've experienced within your life, you wouldn't think so. But you are. For all of you that have received image readings from myself or anybody from this community, I remember when Sophia first told me how you know important I was. I didn't believe it. And then when I started doing the work, doing the work, and when I started doing image readings my own self, I then understood. I was like, you know, so many people that... Um, got the image reading for me i just couldn't believe how vital you are you know you are that star 
nourish the sacred feminine because that's what you are for all your experiences they cannot define you they have to empower you right let's get a romance no a lover's oracle thank you we have soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically we also have surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out right it's like you always feel as if you have to fight a fight you know and this is what needs to go we need to go deeper on within counseling all right guys so everything is in the box let's get messages from them they feel stuck they all they want to do is come in right but again they mirror you that because you're blocked you're blocking yourself right fear is holding you back we have bottom of the deck i do check up on you you are the first person that sh has shown me what real love feels like I focus on money as I have nothing to offer you. I feel as if that's the both of you. Details to booking myself for any one of the services, programs, to go and check out the channel I created, guys. All in that box. Take care, and I'll see you next week.